Hey Collective, it's your girl Mermaid Prophetess bringing you another collective reading. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful divine feminines, my beautiful divine masculines. Let's see what's going on with the collective energy. On the bottom, we have Virgo energy, big Virgo energy opening up. I don't know why I felt like somebody's investigating something. Sometimes somebody's finding out something here. This Virgo energy, it talks about analyzing. Somebody could be trying to figure something out here. This card also talk about methods for healing power of. So somebody could be trying to heal something. Somebody's trying to understand how to heal something here. So let's see what else is going on, okay? We got the 11th house, hopes and wishes. Do it for the future, your faith. Hidden tendencies, 12th house. So we got the 11th house, the 12th house, Pluto energy. Big Pluto energy. We got the 12th house, which talks about Pluto energy. Then we got Pluto energy. So big Scorpio energy in the building. We have resurrect. Get to the heart of. I heard like get to the bottom of. Okay, with this analyzed energy. And then we have the fifth house. This talks about the power of love, investment, gambles, and other games. This Pluto energy also, also talks about do or die. You must. Somebody must figure something out. They were playing a game here. And now this is bringing them some kind of major sacrifice. It's like somebody could be trying to not be sacrificed. Or somebody's trying to figure out how they sacrifice themselves. This person has hidden tendencies. Divine feminine. There could be a divine masculine who got hidden tendencies. And there were this man and he could have people around him who also has hidden tendencies. There's a large institution here. There's an overwhelming amount of events, hidden tendencies. Okay, so this is giving me divine feminine. There could be a large group of people here who have hidden tendencies. These people are doing very strange things behind the scenes. Like, <laughs> what are these people doing? It's like whoever this group of people are, it's, it's like Divine Feminine. They are, it's like a large group of people are overwhelmed trying to find a way to heal, trying to figure out how they sacrifice themselves or something like that. Divine Feminine, this is also uh, somebody tried to play games with things that you invested in, things that you put your heart into, things that you put your love into. Divine Feminine, this fifth house talks about the power of love. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Somebody was trying to get in your bag? A soul tie. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Divine Feminine, somebody wanted you to walk away with nothing? Okay. Y'all remember, this is a collective reading. Take what resonates in the spot the rest. Somebody wanted your throne. They felt like you were here to take their throne or something like that. Somebody was threatened by you, Divine Feminine. Okay, this person felt like, yeah, but this 11th house talks about the future as well. Somebody felt like your presence would end their relationship with someone here. Come through spirit. My chin is itching. Okay, so that's a first. Okay, this is like somebody thinking that, um, your presence would uh, disrupt the future that they had planned or something like that. This is like desperate or something like somebody was really threatened by your energy. Okay, come through. Okay, now this person is trying to figure something out. So I'm trying to figure out how to heal something here. Somebody was pretending to be perfect, but they had hidden, hidden tendencies. Okay, Divine Femi, you could have known somebody that these people had Hidden tendencies, child. All right, let's see what else is going on. In my mind, a card just flew out just now. <laughs> but I don't see a card here. Okay, what was that? Seeing things. Okay, Divine Finish, somebody could have made you feel like you were seeing things. There could be like a master gaslighter here. Somebody wanted to keep you in the shadow, Divine Feminine. Okay. Somebody's hidden. I'm trying to tell you, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Oh, there's a third card there. Let's see what is going on here. We got the shadow, catfish, and the moon. Okay, you want to talk about hidden tendencies? 
come through spirit with the shadow, the catfish, and the moon. There are major illusions here. Somebody's really trying to hide something. We got mirror energy. Somebody's projecting something. Pisces energy is here. Cancer energy is here. Somebody's trying to project something on you, Divine Feminine. You could be this model. You could be this goddess. You could be very inspirational here, Divine Feminine. We got a soul tribe in reverse in the queen. That could be a karmic queen bee here, a karmic mother, sister, highly influential person. This person has like a tribe of karmics behind them with the soul tribe in reverse. It's like these people are trying to hide what you are. They don't even want you to see what you are with the goddess and the model being hidden under a mirror, the moonlight, uh, the shadow, and the catfish. Okay. Two. Wow, look at that. We got twin flame, twin flames, and transformation. Somebody was hell bent on changing the status of the twin flame relationship with a divine masculine. Somebody didn't want a divine masculine to transform. Mm, 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 mm. Let's get to it. What is going on here? We got the power of love, investment, and gambling. Somebody took a gamble when it came to love. Somebody thought they could defeat the energy of love. Child, love is undefeated. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> like, you need to operate out of love. Somebody thought they could do that, and now they're they're learning a lesson. We got parenthood in reverse, and we got the queen showing up. So this is, this is a karmic mother, karmic sister, karmic older feminine. Clarifying this power of love, this is somebody who, um, with this power of love and investment in gambles, there is a, there could be two female karmics here. Okay, yeah, these people were into something dark here. These people were very deceptive. They could be looking for cleansing. They could be looking for help. Divine Feminine, these are people that went against love for you. These are people who went against your investments. These are people who went against what you were creating. Somebody didn't want you to bear the fruit of your work with the sage in reverse. These are people that were sending you negative energy. These are people that were doing negative things. These are also karmic energies that were being exposed. You could be seeing 555, 553, 5335 could be significant here. May 5th, March 5th, May 3rd could be significant here. With the sunlight being here, these people are exposed. This gamble that they took, they took a risk that it's like it, it just exploded. These people could be talking to somebody trying to get help. Okay, come through spirit. What else is going on, child? Something is do or die here. Get to the bottom of. These people could have thought that they got away with something. You're getting to the bottom of something here. Something is being exposed because it's being analyzed here with the sun on it. There's a beam of light on these two karmic feminines now. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Big Pluto energy, do or die? Oh, child. I'm trying to tell you, Divine Feminine, we got the student in reverse, catfish, and look at that, we have a target. So do or die, Divine Feminine, something about your, your relationship, your situation with this Divine Masculine, it set these two karmic feminine attachments out of control in a state of desperation. These people felt like you were gonna take their spot or something like that. It's, it's literally to the point where this student in reverse, somebody thought they, was, they knew what they were doing. They didn't know anything. When I say they didn't know anything, they didn't know a damn thing. Okay, with that student in reverse, somebody is dumb. This is a dud. With this target, Divine Feminine, you can feel like this masculine is a dud because he didn't recognize a catfish. It's like he refused to learn. And this is how he got caught up. Come through spirit. How he got caught up in this web come through okay okay this is how he got caught up in this web he refused to learn and there's some karmic feminines here who refused to learn a lesson they wanted to be all powerful almighty with this catfish energy somebody was fooled here this divine masculine didn't believe that he was a target okay these are karmic soul ties look at that we got a soul tie catfish and a target. This masculine got a target dead center on his forehead and he refused to see it. He refused to learn. So this tells me that this masculine was warned, period. Okay, look at that karmic soul tribe and divine masculine showing up. Look at that. 
whoever this divine masculine is, he has a karmic soul tribe here. That's why we have this 12th house, a large institution of overwhelming events. This divine masculine could be overwhelmed because he realizes that he was a target. There's a catfish here. A fake you, divine feminine. Somebody wanted to pretend like they had your power or something like that, divine feminine. What is going on here? A soul tie? Child. <laughs> Let's keep it pushing. <laughs> Let's see. And if it could be masculine or feminine, please put the rose that makes sense for your situation. We got hopes and wishes. Do it for the future. Somebody was sending you negative energy, divine feminine. They didn't want you to have a future. They didn't want you to achieve your hopes and wishes. Somebody could have wanted you locked up. I'm looking at freedom in reverse. Somebody wanted you to be trapped. Trapped in poverty. Trapped in despair is what I want to say. Trapped in Never receiving what you hope for, what you wish for, what you work for. Somebody wants you to give up. I'm trying to take, look at that. Clarifying that. We got the shadow. Somebody wanted you trapped in the shadow. Even if you look at her with her mouth covered, divine feminine, somebody could have wanted you to shut your mouth. Could have been exposing this person. You could have spoke the truth here, divine feminine. You could have spoke the truth about these signs. Because we got signs in reverse. Somebody wouldn't listen to you about these signs. These signs about karmics? Okay, Divine Feminine, you could have recognized the karmic cycle, a karmic path. With the path being here, Divine Feminine, you could have known that somebody was setting themselves up here. Yeah. Somebody wanted your, your hopes and wishes, your future to be in darkness. Okay. And somebody ignored the signs here as well. When it came to this karmic cycle, there's a large, there's a, like a, a large institution. This is like a lot of people. Why do I feel like it could be like 12 people involved in this? Oh my God. There's so many people. What? We ain't even get to the tarot. All these people showing up. Yeah, somebody could be getting readings or there's an occultist involved here. There's a large amount of people. This could be affecting a lot of occultists. There's a message to get out here, okay? You could have been getting a message out here. There's a group of people that have hidden tendencies. They believe in something that people don't know they believe in because this is about their faith. When we talk about the 12th house, we talk about Pluto energy. We talk about a mystery, do or die. This Somebody could be hiding something here. An illness, a situation, something's going on. I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, look at that. We got the Oracle here. You could be a psychic, Divine Feminine. Somebody could have been judging you based off of your gifts only because you called something out here. Whoever this large group of karmic attachments are, these people could be looking for a healer. Hidden tendencies, we got a healer. Didn't I say somebody's looking for a healer? You could be a healer, Divine Feminine. Yeah, you this alpha, you this boss. Somebody's trying to take that from you? Okay. Child. Okay, let's see. What else is going on, baby? Because this is already... Already, this is my man saying a whole target out here with a big target on his forehead. Let's see what else is going on. We 13, 33 in. 13 minutes, 33 seconds. Let's see. What else? Okay. What else do we need to know? Okay. Oh, we got an exorcist here. So there's a demon in the building. Somebody here is the devil. Could be this entire institution. Look at that. This exorcist also talk about fear of facing your own demons. This of our master could be afraid of facing his own demons. There's a parent involved. There's a parent here who's a femme fatale. Could have thought that she was trying to take her place to buy a feminine. Psst. What? Let's see. We also have this artist energy. Somebody's painting narratives. Using, using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing and starving to posing as starving to elicit pity. Okay, come through, spirit. Let's see what else. This is somebody creating narratives. This is somebody also um could be into dark works. Uh, here, this is also somebody who refused to um take accountability for their actions. This person 
abuses people. This could be an abuser. For some of you divine feminines, this is your masculine that's abusive or his karmic attachments, a karmic mother, sister. There's a highly influential, I mean, that's karmic here, period. There's a karmic, there's a catfish. There's an occultist. There's people here. Somebody wants people to feel sorry for them now that they need a healer. This person is a saboteur, okay? This card talks about induces destructive behavior or the desire to undermine others. This is somebody, somebody trying to paint you out to be a saboteur. Somebody trying to make it seem like you were sabotaging them for speaking the truth here, Divine Feminine. Or this somebody was painting a narrative about you, Divine Feminine, so that they could sabotage you. With this monk nun energy, this talks about negative judgment of the physical world. Okay, so somebody definitely thought they were high and mighty and that they could judge you. This is the same person that's painting a narrative over you, Divine Feminine. This, this person could just literally be a demon. This person could just be very hurtful. Somebody has a, a track record of just being very hurtful and very nasty, at least one of these karmics. And these are people that try to attack your heart's desires, your love, your hopes and wishes, your investment. Somebody didn't want you to ever get returns on your investment. They were threatened by you. They were threatened by how a divine masculine was attracted to you with threatened and magnetic attraction, embarrassed in appearances. Somebody felt like the hold, I don't know why I'm gonna say, the hold you had on this masculine, threatened them or they felt like you, they felt like they um, had to defeat you, Divine Feminine. It's somebody who was competing with you. Look at that. They were so desperate with threat. And this talks about embarrassed ap appearances. Somebody looks like a clown. This is somebody who thought they would get the last laugh against you, Divine Feminine. Child, what else is going on? Because I cannot, I cannot already... <laughs> Already, look, and look how that just jumped out. And I ain't telling you nothing but the truth, baby. This ain't nothing but the truth. With the sunlight right here, big Leo energy coming up on top of that fifth house. Mm. Fifth house is Leo energy. Am I tripping? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fifth house is Leo energy with the sun, double Leo energy. Somebody could be mad. Because somebody was disloyal. Somebody could, that, there could be some money involved, upwards to like $100,000 or more. Some kind of gamble, investment. Divine Fence, somebody could be trying to take your abundance here. Okay? These people, somebody, they could be losing everything and now they're embarrassed. Somebody's a clown and they now see it and they're mad because other people see the truth. Look at that. Now, come through, spirit. Now, they thought they would have the last laugh, but now the truth is here. You have the last laugh. Come through. Okay? <laughs> I cannot. A catfish and a target of divine masculine got catfish because he refused to learn? Child. Now it's a do or die situation. It's a desperate situation because he realized he's a target. Okay. He was a target. So I played him for a fool. Bait and switch? What's going on? Clarify that for me. Thank you. Let's see. Ancestors, crossroad and divine timing. Divine feminine, you could have told this masculine he needed to choose to protect himself. With the student in reverse, this masculine refused to protect himself. The student is in reverse. Now this is a do or die situation. Now this is an emergency situation because he refused to protect himself from somebody who was very deceptive, a hidden enemy, a clown, a catfish. This could be a karmic feminine. Now we have divine timing. And in this divine timing card, it talks about wrong timing. That's literally the first thing it says, wrong timing. Yeah, this man, he refused to, this masculine refused to protect himself from this situation. He was at the crossroads. He refused to read in between the lines. Something is unfinished here. Somebody thought they got away with something and now they're having a heart attack? Look at that. We got unfinished and a heart attack. Okay, come through spirit. Now they're having a heart attack. Hold on. Somebody waited too long. This divine masculine to see the truth, to learn from his mistake, and now he got God. 
and you had a gut feeling. You had the gut feeling, Divine Feminine. You had the knowledge with gut feeling and in between the lines. You knew this. Okay, let's see. Hopes and wishes. Somebody tried to keep you in the shadow. A karmic attachment. Somebody wanted you in the dark. They didn't want you to see what they were doing. Okay, whoever this masculine is, that's the main target. Like, he's the show of the reading. Yeah, he could be in a toxic relationship. This divine masculine. We got toxic relationship and selling shit. Somebody's trying to leave a house. There's fights here. This man could be finding out that he was in an illusion. We got mystery. We got this wish energy, this illusion energy, and selling shit. Somebody pretending. Oh, my nose is itching. Somebody pretending like they um. Uh, Stop doing something or wasn't focused on you, Divine Feminine. Somebody pretending like they weren't focused on your hopes and wishes. They weren't focused on your love. But this person was more than focused. They was all in trying to impact your future. Okay? This person was this person never liked you. Come through, spirit. I already know that. Look at that. I just said this person never liked you. We got lovers and friends in reverse. This person never liked you. Okay? Look at that. We got friends in reverse. We got this, we got a friend request in reverse. We got this dead peacock energy in reverse. And we have the witches and a faded meeting. Mm. Don't forget what over here. Look at that. Look at that. There's a karmic witch involved. She ignored the signs. There's somebody who kept going after, tried to put you, put some kind of shadow energy on you. That's why. That's why we have this exorcist energy come through, spirit. That's why. Something backfired here with this dead peacock's energy in reverse. This backfired. This person ignored the signs of their own mess. And there is someone here who never liked you, Divine Feminine. This person could have pretend like they did, but they never did at all. This is somebody who didn't want that to be known. This could be this Divine Masculine's one of his karmic friends. I cannot. Who's this occultist or a reader? There's somebody looking for healing. There's hidden tendencies here. Like I said, somebody was pretending like they're not into something, but they are. But they are. Somebody could be watching you obsessively. This is somebody who needs to be healed. They're looking for healing. Child, what's going on? Now they're dealing with the aftermath. Didn't I say that somebody... um. Could be losing everything here. We got finances, money problems. We got a breakup in reverse. For some of you divine feminines, timeout in reverse as well. Look at that. We got a breakup in reverse. We got finances, money problems. We got time out in reverse. And then we have fear. So for some of you divine feminines, there is um that could be a karmic ex who or, or a karmic attachment who's using somebody for money here. Somebody was using someone here and they went back to this person because they needed more money or they needed more of something, more of their energy. Somebody got hidden tendencies. Mm. They needed some, there. somebody could be doing something strange for a little bit of change. Child, what's that? Mm. Suitor. On this secret crush card, somebody could be, um, somebody could have, um, it's like they can't move on. Somebody like they can't move on. And when this could be this divine masculine, divine feminine, who, um, uh, got an ex who uses him, or there's a karmic attachment who depends on him or something like that. And this person was so afraid. Yeah, come through spirit. Somebody was so afraid about how this masculine feels about you. That's why we saw threatened and magnetic attraction. This person was in fear, do or die. Somebody thought that you were gonna take their spot. This person was afraid of how this masculine feels about you. Come through. They did something so desperate, hidden tendencies because of emotions, I lost a lot of money in this situation. And for some of you divine feminines, a divine masculine could have went back to an ex for money. Okay, not so divine if that's how he moving, child. Okay, let's see, let's take one more. 
Oh, let's say one more. One more on fear. Yeah, this person got issues. Okay, we got a jack of all trades in reverse. Didn't I tell you somebody didn't know what they were doing? Somebody thought they was smart and now they did something dumb. They did something dumb. Whoever this um, oracle is. But this person got hidden tendencies. Somebody's not just a, a reader. They're a dark occultist or somebody's secretly like studying online. This person is being held accountable for what they did. We got legal matters, unfinished and a heart attack. I'm trying to tell you about feminine. Somebody could be getting eliminated. Look at this. Intuition in reverse. We got this player energy in reverse. That's a Manson that ignored all his intuition. He could have been playing games with you. But let's get back to this oracle because this is where we are. This occultist. This person played a game and lost. And they're into it. They didn't even see this coming. This person is being held accountable. That's why this person didn't see this heart attack coming. Now this person is scared. Out of their mind, afraid. Look at that. They didn't know what they were doing. A karmic saboteur. Didn't know what they were doing. This is somebody who wants people to feel sorry for them now. Oh my goodness. And this divine massive boy, he just still sitting here with this big target on his head. I'm just looking at him like, I don't know why I don't have like any pity here because there are signs here. With the student in reverse, this divine massive was cocky when it came to the truth being exposed to him. He was so cocky that he landed with a catfish, refused to protect himself. Child. Now you got witches right up underneath him, this shadow energy. Let's see, what else is going on here? We got court. Somebody's hoping that something works out for them in court. Somebody's hoping that they won't be held accountable. Somebody's money is being held up in court. Okay. With that court energy, somebody's being held accountable. There could be legal issues. There could literally be legal issues going on here. What else? Come through spirit. March 2nd to 23rd could be significant here. February 3rd, February 23rd could be significant. That could be a significant date coming up. March 2nd could also be a significant date coming up. There's a lawsuit here or somebody there could even be some kind of criminal case. What else is going on here? Yeah, a fake person. This person thought that they got away with what they did to you, Divine Feminine. Come through. Look, I'm trying to tell you. Look. We got a false person, expectations and illness. Look at that. Towards a main female, they were expecting you to get a letter that would hold you into hold you in sorrow. This was their expectation, divine feminine. This, this false person expected this illness against you. Somebody thought that you would be sick without your hopes without your dreams, without any power, without any love, your creations would be destroyed. This is somebody who is threatened, period. Come through. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. They really thought they were coming in. This person worked hard, went on a journey for this. This person is getting bad news. They're getting a letter that has them really sad. They've received the message that they messed up now. I just heard somebody f***ed up now. They done f***ed up now. These witches? Okay. They put it all in, all, put in all this work, and now they're effed up. Let's see, what else? Let's take it all the way across. Thank you, come through spirit. Let's see. Courtship, I'm trying to tell you, they put in all this work, courtship and work, when it came to your relationship, Divine Family, when it came to how this Divine Masculine was courting you, they wanted to make sure that nothing was official between you guys. And if something was official with this military person, the milit somebody in the military may be involved here, there might be a veteran here or something like that, or somebody may have a, a job where they wear a uniform or something like that, but they were working to make sure that you don't be seen as an official person. These are people who could have been arguing in a living room about you, Divine Feminine. This is karma. These are people, there are people who were never your friends here. Never liked you, wouldn't, never wanted to see you do good. Hopes and wishes, they put in a lot of work to keep you in the shadows so you would never see 
your hopes and wishes, your dreams, your love, or anything like that come through, come true. Yeah, I'm trying. Come through, spirit. Boy, spirit, you knock me out every single time. Holy spirit, only you could do that. We got gloomy thoughts in love. What I told you, divine feminine. What I told you. They wanted to make sure that you were always worried, depressed, overthinking that they could sabotage you. This card, Gloomy Thoughts, even talks about sab... It even talks about sabotage. Don't forget, sabotage is the word of the day, baby. Saboteur is here as well. Huh. Look at that. They worked hard. They worked hard to put gloomy thoughts when it came to your love life. Worked hard to put gloomy thoughts in your masculine's mind when it came to your love life. Somebody, now this person is afraid because they're caught. What did I say? Somebody who was pretending to be good, a good gentleman, this person is fake. They're being held accountable. This person was, this person like something about money with this person as well. There's something else going on in the background about money. There is somebody who is caught up and this is somebody who's acting like they are innocent. They want people to feel sorry for them and they're caught with this good gentleman in prison energy. They're caught. They're caught. And that's why they're having a heart attack. This literally. They're having a heart attack because they're caught. Now they're afraid. Look how that heart attack and fear is <laughs> same energy. Same energy, they panicking. Child, what, what you panicking for? Oh, it's not over yet. That's why I say it's unfinished. Somebody thought they got away with something, but they did not. Now they're panicking. Oh, we. I was pretending to be a good person. Child. What else is going on here? Let's see before we even get into the tarot. Let's see. What else is going on? Hmm. Whoever this divine masculine is, he's cocky. This masculine was acting cold when you've triggered me in reverse. I can't make a decision. This masculine, whoever this divine masculine is, this could be a masculine that had his cake and um had his cake and wanted a cupcake on the side. Had his cake and eat it too, however that saying goes. This is somebody who felt like they could keep you waiting or string you along or play with you along the way or play with other people along the way or something like that. Like, some, somebody, there's a lot of time wasted here, Divine Feminine. Somebody wanted to waste your time. Look at this. Will this ever change? Somebody wanted you stuck. Stagnant. I don't know where to start. They wanted this masculine to question you. Let's see. So give me three cards so we can look at this masculine's demeanor. What's going on around him? What's going on? Thoughts? It's all too much. People don't believe in me. It's all too much. In reverse, I don't know where to start. Somebody is going through so much, but they don't want people to know. Period. Or people don't believe me. Divine Femi, you could have felt like people don't believe you. They wanted to make it seem like something is not really happening to you. This masculine could have made it try to gaslight you to make you feel like something isn't happening to you or was happening to you. And now he's going through something. He's hiding it. It's all too much in reverse. But when I don't know where to start, I wish to be like you. Look at that. I don't know where to start. I wish to be like you. It's because Divine Feminine, you know when to protect yourself. You know how. You know all that. You know all that. Here's my card so we can look at what this masculine got going on. And then we're going to get into the tarot. Sure. We got three instead. We got life without you is hopeless, dark, and depressing. I miss your light. I am now immediately to go to you. Somebody feel like they can't even run up on you. I had to let you go so I could find my true self. This is my man saying he's learning a lesson. He's learning a lesson. And there's somebody here who wants to run up on you. They can't come towards you because your light is shining too bright. Okay, you could be exercising demons out of your life, divine family. This masculine could want to approach you and don't know what to say to you. He could feel like he's brought darkness into your life. Okay. 
Let's get it. Let's get to the tarot, okay? I don't know how far we're in. I had to stop the video, so I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Somebody wanted to kill an offer. Scorpio energy. Let's see. Let's see. I left two cards. What's going on? Somebody stressed out in a house right now because of some kind of action they took. Let's see, we got this illness. Whoever this person is, this person that was threatened by you, this karmic attachment that was threatened by you, this person who thought they were going to get the last laugh by making a main female and empress sick and expected this to happen to you with court being here, somebody's being held accountable. They're being held accountable for the actions that they took towards you. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. We got illness court. Why the hell, they're being held accountable. They're getting karma here for what they did. This decision to you try to make you ill or try to make you look ill, try to like ruin you divine feminine, your creations, your investments, your love. This person thought they had the last laugh they were expecting this. It's a false person. Don't forget we got catfish here. Catfish and false person, same energy. There's a catfish here that's sick. They got a letter that pissed them off. Okay, last laugh and illness, being held accountable. This person was threatened. What's going on? Yeah, Divine Feminine, this person was threatened about this offer, about this connection, about this past. I'm trying to look at that. You want to talk about an offer? We got the chariot. Big cast of energy coming through. We got the page of pentacles. We got a solid offer coming through. We also have opportunities coming through for you, Divine Feminine. This person didn't want you to have opportunities. This is somebody who is very envious. We got the Knight of Cups, Six of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. They wanted to make this sick. They wanted to make this sick by making you sick. With the Three of Wands, they were expecting you to be sick. To be effed up, to be in sorrow, to be in mental anguish. This is what they were expecting. Three of Wands, they were waiting on this. Double confirmation, only expecting this. A false person. Child, I cannot. I cannot. These, these people. Okay. You're a joke. You're a joke. Let's see. All of this about an offer. They were expecting this. They didn't expect you to heal, recover. They didn't expect you to be able to pour love back into yourself. But you a whole here. Look at you. Star energy and the queen of pentacles. Baby. You a healer. You uplift the people around you. Everyone around you does better when they are around you. Big Aquarius energy. You heal the broken. Come through. Main female expectation. Somebody was threatened by you. It's like you would just came in like, mm. Look how you came in. Baby, you came in like nothing but the truth. You hear me? Like, look at how you came in. They could not. This false person was so ugh, sick. Sick. Threatened by you. Just a whole clown out here. Threatened. Come through. Let's see. Yeah, they tried to defeat you. I'm trying to tell you the vibe thing. I mean, look at how you came in. Same energy. <sighs> Not a pentacles. Look at that main theme. You just came in. Flawless victory. In love with yourself. In this Great Empress energy, big Empress, you were just leveling up. That's what I'm feeling when I see this Nine of Pentacles to this main female. She giving me so much Empress vibes. You were just leveling up. It's like, that's why they were attacking your love, your investments. This person, they took a gamble. They didn't even care. I just heard, risk it all. Risk it all. They were willing to do anything. Five of Swords. Didn't I tell you envy? Five of Swords also talks about sabotage. Third confirmation on the sabotage. There's a saboteur here. They were expecting to defeat you. Okay. Okay. Come through, spirit. 
They were expecting to defeat you, a group of karmic witches. They were expecting to defeat you. Yeah, now they're getting karma. Look at that. I'm just looking at these cards that's sticking out here. Ten of Swords, Death, Scorpio Energy, Justice, Karma is here. Two of Pentacles, for like two people getting karma here. Five of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. They, and this is right up underneath expectations. They were expecting to defeat you, to have you trapped up, wrapped up in sorrow. Your creations, your investment, your love to never go anywhere. False person, child, false person. This masculine is in sorrow, refused to protect himself, refused to learn a lesson when it comes to a karmic tie. That's why that big Pluto energy is next to this divine masculine. It's do or die now. He's getting a letter that makes him really sad. Information about witches? Okay, information that about what happened during a particular time. What's going on? Yeah, these people work together. Definitely third parties. So much people here. Look at that. Look at that. We got a false person. Okay. False person catfish. Come through spirit with all the confirmations. Three of cups, three of pentacles, seven of swords. What? Working together to create major deception. That's why we got a large institution that's overwhelmed. Higher font talks about institution, Taurus energy. Yeah, come through. This masculine refused to learn about a group of people, karmic witches, people operating in the shadow, hidden tendencies, about catfishes that made him a target. Period. Okay, period. You seen through this. He ignored the warnings. This masculine refused to learn a lesson. It's like divine feminine. Even if like before you warned this masculine, these people been exposed themselves to this divine masculine. He refused to learn a lesson. That's what he did. Somebody tried to steal an offer from you. Steal something away from you, divine feminine. False person, false people. This whole institution. Five of Swords. They wanted to defeat you at all costs. Seven of Swords, they did any and everything to do this. And they expected you to be sick. Sick of it. Sick of everything that you were going through. Okay. Let's see. Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. They were celebrating. Now they're getting a letter. And now they're in sorrow. Child, what's going on? Come through. What else is going on here? The sun is here, divine feminine. Now look at you, child. <laughs> Come through, spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Most High God. Oof. Only you. Only you. And that's why this, this masculine don't listen. Look at you. I'm clarifying. Five of swords, three of pentacles, three of cups. These people getting together to defeat you, divine feminine. Five of Swords to defeat you at all costs. Seven of Swords here. Clarifying that. Look at what we got. Baby, they could never. They could never. Seven of Wands, the Empress, the Sun. They could never. Big Leo, Taurus, Libra energy. They could never. Never. This is giving me like I wish a bee would. They could never defeat the Empress. The light is shining on this group of people that were working together. This institution that's overwhelmed with hidden tendencies in these events that they're doing. Somebody's doing some weird stuff at an event? What? The sun is shining here. This masculine is feeling stupid. Like I should have realized this. Now he's in a do or die situation. These people thought that they could get your abundance. Come through. Aquarius energy showing up again. These people are blocked. They could never. You're protected here. They got blocked at the gate. Okay. Now they got blocked at the gate. Somebody could have been trying to get inside of your gate. Okay. Sorrow, the group of people that were celebrating are now in sorrow. Child, this divine masculine is sitting right here in desperation. He could be fighting a group of people. This masculine realizes it's him against a group of people. 
Okay, this masculine didn't know that there were witches involved here. He feels catfished, okay? There's information that came in that let this masculine know that's exactly what they were. Now he wants to apologize. Somebody wants to apologize for, for being a catfish, but this person is being left out in the cold? For some of you divine feminines, this divine masculine could feel like you're so disappointed in him. He could have like flipped on you in a way, Divine Feminine, where you are so disappointed in him. It's almost unbelievable the way this masculine behaved with the Five of Pentacles and the Moon. It's, uh, it's like it's almost unbelievable because of how much love was here. Queen of Cups, Pisces Cancer Energy. Mm. Somebody is going through it and they're hiding it. They're hiding this sorrow. This information came in about a courtship, about the work that was done on a courtship, about this shadow energy placed on a courtship from a group of friends, people that work together, people that hang together, people that party together. Try to take so much here. Now this masculine wants to apologize. Somebody could have this masculine blocked or he's blocking people. He's definitely fighting with people because he's a target. Do or die. You must. You must deal with this. This masculine is like you must fight. Come through, spirit. Come through. Got the moon and the five of pentacles. Somebody's hiding that they're broke. Somebody's hiding that they are in destitute. A group of karmic witches. Somebody's hiding that they're losing a home. They're getting a bunch of bad news. There are people here who had their own relationships, Divine Feminine, that they should have been concerned about, but they were concerned about yours. They're getting bad news. They could be getting left out in the cold in their own situations. Child, what's going on? Something backfired. Dead peacocks in reverse, shadow energy signs in reverse. Do it for the future. This somebody that was attacking your future, a group of karmic witches, a group of manipulative women. What's going on here? Too many cards. Oh, one fail. The fool. Somebody did. Somebody took a leap in the dark and didn't see what the hell they was doing. Okay, come through, spirit. Then Aries energy and the fool. They took major action because they were threatened. So all of this is being analyzed. They were doing this in the dark. Signs in reverse. The moon is here. They didn't think anybody would see this. Now they're all overwhelmed. Taurus energy. Okay. Somebody did something stupid behind the scenes. And this is just backfiring like crazy. What is going on? Karmic ties. Somebody was playing in someone's face here. Divine fin this divine masculine feel like somebody was playing in his face. Because I keep looking back at this masculine with his target in the middle of his forehead. We got karmic ties, friend requests. This masculine realized that he is going through hell. Look at him with his little bandana headband around his head. He looks sick. He's desperate. He is going through it. This masculine is like working so hard trying to figure this out. His head is filled with gloomy thoughts. This masculine feels like he is caught up in a karmic soul tie. Somebody was after your future. Ugh. Masculine feel like somebody was playing in his face. That could be that karmic masculine. Oh, okay. Let's see. Somebody wasn't his friend and they did a lot of work here. And this masculine realizes that this person was trying to mess with his destiny. We got do it for the future, wheel of fortune here. Mess with his destiny. Sagittarius energy. Taurus, Leo. We keep seeing Taurus and Leo. Scorpio. We saw a, a double Scorpio in the beginning. And we've seen Aquarius a lot. So those signs definitely must be significant here in some way. So somebody wasn't someone's friend. Never liked them. A karmic. A karmic attachment. Never liked you. Somebody never really liked this masculine. Never really not for real. Okay. Come through. So I could be seeing 333. Let's see. What's going on? They were doing work in the dark so that he could miss opportunities? Yeah, they were manifesting. Look at that. They were taking action. Gemini energy here. The magician, four of cups. 
This is the work they were doing. Karmic soul ties. Okay, come through spirit to miss an opportunity. They did something in the dark so that this masculine would miss an opportunity. Now this person is mad. What well, is masculine is mad. Come through spirit. Yeah. This is about masculine. King of Pentacles at the bottom. More Taurus energy. We saw you, you showed up as the Queen of Pentacles. This is your divine counterpart, divine feminine. He's pissed. He's having gloomy thoughts about love. And that's where we are in this gloomy thoughts. This masculine did something really dumb. Really dumb. Listen to somebody, a fake person's wisdom. Or something like that. Whoever this is that this man was listening to, they had hidden tendencies. Look at how bad he is. Ooh. And these people are having gloomy thoughts. They're pissed. There's two masculines going head to head. This is justice. Look at that. We got a king of pentacles and a king of wands. Nine of wands and the justice. So whoever this divine masculine is, he knows Libra energy. That he's going through something and that a karmic masculine was involved in this as well. Gloomy thoughts about love, finances. Somebody's a user here. There's an oracle here. There's an occultist here. Somebody's looking for a healer. Hidden tendencies. They're trying to hide this. They're trying to hide this. That they're looking for a healer. Let's see. Somebody realizing that somebody was just in it for themselves. Hidden tendencies in love. This masculine is finding out that a karmic lover has hidden tendencies. She could be in a relationship with somebody in jail or something like that. She's definitely caught up with love in prison. Okay? Let's see. What else is going on, you guys? I'm telling you, look at that. There is somebody else. This karmic love, there is somebody else. I just said this. Look at that. King of Wands, then I, didn't we just see that King of Pentacles going head to head with this King of Wands? And I tell you, there's two masculines at it. Look, we, and I just told you about this karmic lover and her possibly having another lover. Three of Swords, King of Wands, two of Pentacles juggling. This masculine is finding out that he's been juggled. She's caught. Prison is here. She's caught. The person who she really in love with, somebody's really in love with somebody else. Ooh, damn. She caught fear. This masculine regrets. This masculine regrets calling judgment on an old situation. Okay, come through, spirit. Mm. Break up in reverse. Hidden tendencies. This is about masculine reconciled with somebody or went towards his past in some kind of way. Five of Cups judgment. He regrets resurrecting something. This Pluto energy talks about resurrect. Look at that. And it's right over here with Target. He resurrects something with a catfish. Look at that. Either this is an actual person or some kind of behavior. The first thing on this card says resurrect right at the top. Catfish to Target. Come through spirit. Something was resurrected with a karmic ex or somebody this masculine has some kind of thing with, a situationship with. And now look, three of swords, king of wands, three of swords. She putting him in a third party situation. This masculine found out that he's being juggled. He's pissed off. He's betrayed. He real now he's mad. He realized that he missed an opportunity. Come through spirit. Three of swords to the king of wands. This will be this masculine's friend, whoever this is. Yeah, this man was shocked that he was juggled. Look at that. Two of Pentacles and a Tower, Scorpio energy. He's shocked. Somebody is afraid. Sag big Sagittarius energy on that King of Wands. Sagittarius Aries. Let's see. Now somebody is afraid. They're being held accountable. The cultist is looking to be healed. These karmic witches want to be healed. It's a lot of overwhelming events taking place here. Somebody could literally be going to jail. Somebody's lover or somebody's lover went to jail here or, or is being held accountable. They're afraid because they're caught up having a heart attack. You're talking about fear, attack. Somebody's having a, a in fear because this attack that they sent to your heart is back on them. 
somebody passed negative judgment towards you, they want to sabotage you, Divine Feminine, by creating narratives about you. Let's see. Give me fear in prison. Somebody's afraid of going to jail because they're caught. Because they're a goddamn thief. We got a karmic family member here. More Leo energy. We got the Ten of Cups, Two of Wands. Somebody is afraid because people are going to find out about this plan to keep you stuck. To keep you stuck and burdened so you can miss an opportunity, so you can miss an offer. Karmic family members. This could be your family member or this divine masculine's family. Now there's family, there's a family member going to jail here or something like that. Ten of Cups, Two of Wands because of the plot, some plotting that they did, some plan that they did, or they being held accountable. Whatever it is that whoever these karmic attachments, what they did, they planned. And they planned it because they were threatened by you out the gate. Okay? They didn't know. And then with Jack of all trades in reverse, somebody was missing a whole lot of information. And now the information is coming out. Give me fear. Okay? Come through, spirit. Give me fear. Heart attack. What's going on? Jack of all trades in reverse. They messed up. This saboteur thought that they finished. Every, it's unfinished. There's more to come. More karma to come. Look at that. Child. Woo we. Oh, something is being laid down. Laid the rest, somebody's getting laid down. It's a done data. Nobody wants what you're giving. Nobody wants what you're offering. Four of Swords, I'd rather sleep. Page of Pentacles and the Death card. Come through spirit. Big Scorpio energy. We're clarifying this fear and this heart attack. Somebody knows that they put this death energy out there and it's it's come back. Because Four of Swords also talk about laying, just laying in a casket. So Four of Swords in the death and the Page of Pentacles, this energy to lay you down, to go after your investments. They took a gamble, your creations, your love, which you create out of love, a child, your, your business, everything you put your time, your efforts in, some kind of inheritance, something's around $100,000 was stolen from you or over $100,000, okay? A significant amount of funds here. They thought they were expecting that they could take all this from you. They're having a heart attack come through spirit. Oh, when we talk about that four swords with the death energy, listen, this is why they're afraid. They're getting laid down. This is why they're afraid, okay? Mm. Child, this is why they're afraid. This saboteur energy, how far they went. They were in that five of swords energy. This is why they're getting the message that it's a wrap. They're getting the message <laughs> that it's a done daughter. They're getting the message that it's over with. Give it a death in the four of swords. It's a, oh man. They're getting the message. Child, what's going on? Yeah, it's over with. Whoever this uh, Queen of Wands is, she could have a strong fire placement. Divine Feminine, this could be the catfish you. Divine Feminine, you and her, this person could share signs. Or this person just has a strong placement. Or whoever this Karmic Feminine is, she might not be a fire sign at all. She could just, somebody feels entitled. Somebody who felt entitled, like they control your house, your relationship. This person is afraid. This person is afraid because they're trying to, somebody's trying to outrun death with the eight of cuts and the death card. Eight of, we got the death card and the four of swords, we clarified, and the eight of cuts. Somebody is literally trying to get away from this energy and they can't. Somebody trying to find somewhere safe to go with that four of wands. Somebody trying to sleep at someone's house. They need a place to sleep, especially with that four of swords. What else? Yeah, the lovers. Somebody's looking for a place to sleep. A lover. A karmic lover or this divine masculine is looking for somewhere to sleep. Or this divine masculine could have walked out on a lover here. A spell could have even broke here. There was a choice to be made. The choice was made to end something, to lay something down. Gemini energy. This divine masculine found out that this karmic lover had choices in love and he walked away. Something is ended. Page of Pentacles. A message came through. About this saboteur, busted. What it, it had to do with their loyalty. That this person had other options on the table. Come through, spirit. 
Seven of Cups and the Strength card. Strong Leo, strong Leo energy. Again, this masculine regrets these. Like I said, this was shocking. I'm telling this, here we go again. Judgment again, the tower again. Double Scorpio, Sagittarius energy. Five of Cups. This masculine is shocked. It's like he never believed this. That, this, that these people would do him like this or that somebody would do him this way. With judgment being here, it's over. Child, what is going on? Child, let's see. Let's see, come through spirit, okay? Somebody got a question to ask now. Somebody got questions. Divine feminine, that's a divine masculine who wanna ask you a question. Somebody got questions. And it's like Divine Feminine, I'm just hearing uh, why these cards don't want to go through. It's like someone wouldn't get through this masculine's head. It's like now this masculine want to ask his twin flame a question. Okay. I don't want to mess up the cards. About a trap that you called out? You could have called out a trap. Okay. I'm trying not to mess up the cards on the table. Yeah, a trap to ruin a twin flame union. Somebody didn't want you to have a job? Uh, guys, this card don't even belong here. Somebody didn't want you to have to, to be a goddess. I feel like somebody didn't want you to have a job or to be able to take care of yourself. Investment gambles. Somebody took a risk? Okay. All right, spirit. Let's see. Let's get to let, let Oh my goodness. What a web we're untangling here. What in the world? Okay. What's going on? Something, spirit. There's a there's a, an illusion. So whoever it is, there could be a karmic coven here. Creating illusions. Somebody lied about a funeral. Somebody lied about a death. Somebody pretended like something was over. They pretended like they ended a cycle with someone else. For some of you divine feminists, this divine masculine is finding out that a karmic masculine friend was still in touch with someone that they weren't supposed to be in touch with or they lied about being in touch with this person. They lied about the relationship they had with this person. For some of you, some of you other divine feminines, this divine masculine is finding out that a karmic lover never ended something with another lover, with this trickster illusions funeral and closing this cycle. Something, a, a cycle never really did close. And then for some of you, there's, there's lies about a death here. There's lies about a death or somebody lied about sending you death energy. Somebody didn't want you to realize that they were trying to send you to your funeral. This person doesn't feel good. This person feels like ish. I feel like this divine masculine feels like ish because he didn't believe you. He could have started isolating himself from you, isolating his emotions from you. Now he feels sick to his stomach. You could have told him that somebody's targeting him. Come through, spirit. What else is going on here? But we finna close this out, cause I cannot. Okay, and take this to the extended. Let's see, what else is going on here? What else? They feel stupid. We are gonna do another round of tarot too. Yo, look at this, we got love, hate. It's like Devon, for this masculine could be toxic. Yeah, cause we over here on top of this catfish. This masculine could be toxic. Him and this, his person, they could, something is back and forth. Divine Feminine. Yeah, somebody is, didn't I tell you Divine Feminine that this masculine is pretending to be happy? Somebody's pretending to have a, a smile on their face. We got happily single, okay, and not happy in romance. There's a Divine Masculine that is not happy at all. At all. Pissed off. There are people here that's not happy. What else? We're over here by this karmic energy. What else? We are closing this cycle. This person is a fool. Look at that. This karmic is over with. With these karm, we buy this karmic ties over here by this witch, closing this cycle, and we got a jackass. There's a jackass karmic here. An idiot. Living in the moment, they did something quick. And it did not work out well. Yeah, they wish something bad here, Divine Feminine. Whatever wish this was, this was dumb. Whatever they were manifesting against a twin flame union, this was dumb. 
All because they felt threatened. There's an occultist that wish she didn't do something stupid against you, Divine Feminist. Why is pissed about how something ended here? Oh, we. This masculine is finding something out. I'm trying to tell you. Look at that. We got secret accounts and secret. They wish, somehow wish that this was never found out. One more over there. Make it even. Love spell. They wish that they never, th that this was never found out. Look at this. We have a love spell and we have ghosted in reverse. For some of you divine feminines, somebody was doing a love spell to bring a man, a, a divine masculine back into their life. And they did this abruptly or they did a love spell to get a masculine to try to get a masculine to detach again, detach from you. This love spell is also on top of saboteur. So this love spell could also have a lot to do with um, sabotaging how this masculine talk to you with sweet talk. Sabotage how this masculine, my eyes itching now, with how this masculine see you. Sabotage how this masculine respect you. So it's like there was a secret here. This masculine could have seen something in their phone about these narratives that they were painting. Mmm, that love spell is right on top of Saboteur. I'm gonna take one more. Yeah, karmic. We got karmic ties twice. Yeah, psycho in reverse. This masculine is finding out who is crazy for real. It's like the Vopin and somebody could have said that you put a love spell on this masculine. But all along, it was these karmic ties. They're finding out who is the real psycho. It's like somebody tried to paint you as a psycho. We have karmic ties, karmic ties. These karmic ties are the saboteur. They were the ones that were targeting this masculine. Okay, come through. Somebody could have been trying to follow you. Yeah, now this masculine knows exactly who is crazy. This is somebody who was projecting against you. Child. Let's see. Okay. Let's wrap this up. People are ridiculous. Let's see. Okay. Come through, Spirit, with the final message here. Come through. Come through. Come through, Spirit. What's happening here? What's happening? What's happening? Ooh. Let's see, that second time the chariot came out. The Empress just hit the floor. So, okay, so Divine Feminine, this chariot energy, this is somebody who came in rushing to secede over you. Come through. So somebody came in rushing? Okay, let's see what they came to do. Come through. They came to try to heal something, okay? They were trying to heal something. Oh, trying to heal something with this divine masculine. This is, and I'm telling you, divine, it's like somebody was threatening temperance energy. We got cancer energy. We got Sagittarius energy. This is somebody who had already, a cycle had already closed with this person. But now we got the Six of Swords. Hierophant, again, Taurus energy. There's a group of people that brings this person back around. Okay, let's see. What's the challenge here? What's the challenge? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I'm trying to tell you, look at that. Five of Swords again. We have Five of Swords on the Empress over here. Now we got Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The fake you. The impersonator of you, Divine Feminine. Look at that. Five of Swords is the challenge. Five of Swords. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's jealous. Somebody's not nurturing. Somebody's not a healer. Healer. Somebody is very selfish. This person could be a thief. This person could be a scammer. Child. Okay. What's the outcome? Queen of Cups. Oh, love wins? Okay. Page of Cups. Somebody wants to come and apologize to you, Divine Feminine. Your old apologies. 
You're being seen here as highly intuitive. You're being seen here as always knowing the truth. You knew what you were talking about. You're being seen here as pure love. You're being seen here as having pure intentions. Somebody drunk the Kool-Aid about you and they did not see your truth with the Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, and the Two of Swords. This Two of Swords is blindfolded. It's like somebody refused to see the truth about you. They drunk the Kool-Aid of this karmic artist. Okay, let's see, the chariot. Somebody wanted to come in and defeat you. Let's see, we've seen five of swords twice attached to an empress, okay. Let's see, cancer energy, trickster and illusion is the chariot. What's going on, who is this? Eight of wands and the devil, wow. They knew, they, they just knew in their mind that they were going to defeat you. Oh, they thought wrong. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands, and the Devil. Big Capricorn energy, they pissed off. There's somebody who planned, they sat back and they planned this attack towards you. Come through, Spirit. Yeah, and they thought they would win. Didn't I just say that? Six of Wands, they thought they would win. Okay. Okay. Somebody felt like they were gonna um, balance something out. An illusion about a funeral? or an illusion about an ending. Somebody made like they got better, they changed, or something like that. They're like, oh, come through spirit. Okay. Whew. That just hit me like a light about. The vibe feminine. You and this masculine had a situation. There was a situation that went down here. And somebody, there's a karmic feminine. I mean, there's so many people here. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, because this 12th house is talking about a large institution. And when that three of pentacles came out, that three of cups came out right with it. And the five of swords is right there. So just there, I got 11 people. Just there, I got 11 people. And don't forget this seven of swords here. 12 people. 12 people. 12th house. A whole institution, a group, a community of people are overwhelmed. These people are planning things towards you. This is sick. Oh, my eye is hurting. It's like somebody didn't want you to see something. It's like divine feminine. These are people who came in and act like they were there to help this masculine with this funeral energy. You and this masculine could have had a fight, a big issue. I don't know why I feel like this was like a blow up. This was so big, whatever this is. And this masculine refused to see something, refused to understand something with their student in reverse. They used this moment to be, a, to target, to target him. Told him to, told him to like move away, push away or something like that. Now this masculine feels like hell, come through spirit. Feeling like ish. Mm, mm, mm. It's Kevin whispering in each other's ears. Okay. So somebody made like they were helping this masculine heal. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. What they was doing. What they were doing. So we know this is an illusion. This is karmic family members, 10 of cups. They act like they were making, let me, come through with the double confirmation. <clears throat> Whew. Four of swords, laying in a coffin. Damn. We got a funeral here, so we got two coffins. So while somebody was pretending to console this masculine, this these karmic family members, this karmic community, this group, they were simultaneously trying to send you this funeral energy, this endings energy. Okay, okay, yeah. Four swords to the um, Ace of Pentacles. They wanted to make sure you didn't get an offer. Somebody feels so entitled to your business or this divine masculine's business. They were pretending like they were helping him heal. Now there's multiple people out here looking, trying to figure out how to heal from something while they were sending this endings energy. Eight of Pentacles, they put a lot of work into this. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, man, she put in some serious work towards you, divine feminine. Serious work. They work hard. Day by day. This is because of how threatened they are by you, Divine Feminine. Day by day. 
to make something lay to, to lay something to rest, to lay you to rest, to send you this endings energy to make sure you felt like shit. Yeah, six of swords. They want you to feel like shit. Somebody wants you to feel abandoned. Like you always have to leave things that you've invested in. You always or everything you touch just goes away from you or something like that. Child, what is going on? That six of swords came out as an extra card too. What's moving away? This masculine feels like ish for moving away. Moving away from pure love? Yeah, and these people were nothing but jealous. Now we got the Knight of Cups. There's no love here. Ten of Wands. It's nothing but burdens. It's nothing but burdens. Pure love was here. Ace of Cups? It was here. Oh, we. Hopping spirit. Yeah. Now this masculine feels like, yeah, she's trying to figure out how to get away from this energy. Somebody was so jealous that they created nothing but burdens. Look at that. Five of Wands to the Ten of Wands. So jealous they created nothing but burdens. Five, 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 five on the clock when I say that. Look at that. Look at that. They were so jealous. They were jealous people pushing somebody away here. And now somebody, this masculine who is this target, this head target, like he's target practice, do or die. Desperation is here. Trying to move away? What's going on? Move away from these jealous people, these envious people. Yeah, this masculine is pissed because he's stuck here with these people. The Emperor in reverse, big Aries energy, seven of swords. He's stuck with a bunch of people that betrayed him. Look how stuck he is. Pisces energy on the hangman. Look at how stuck he is. Come through. Can't even move forward. Six of swords right there, he can't even move. This masculine is trying to take control of his life here. Whew. All because he resurrected something. Child, too many cards. What is this? Five of Cups, he regrets. Nine of Wands being in and out. This blew up in his face. His behavior. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Letting somebody back in from the cold. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. This is the challenge. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Let's see. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. What's going on? Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the challenge. The outcome is the Queen of Cups upright. Oh my God, this is killing me. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> I'm gonna spike. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. It's like somebody could be going off on this Queen of Pentacles in reverse for being a catfish. Oh, they putting boundaries on her. Queen of Swords to the Two of Cups to the Page of Cups because something was seen about what this person said they were doing in the past. The sun is here. Everything is illuminated about what was done towards pure love to make pure love burden. So this masculine could miss an opportunity. Five of Cups, he regretted. <laughs> oh, this masculine is mad. Screaming at each other. Look at him. Look at him. We got the King of Cups in reverse going head to head with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Why? Okay. What else? The Queen of Pentacles in reverse is the King of Cups in reverse. Oh my goodness. Karmic masculine involved here. Karmic feminines involved here. What's going on? What's the challenge? Oh, they did? Oh, damn. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Whew, I didn't even mean to say it like that. Damn. That's a challenge. They, they done. We got deck to the nine of wands. It's over. It's over. Look at this. And, and look, and judgment is sticking up. Look at that. We got a nine of cups and we got judgment. Don't forget the nine of cups in this deck. It's like, damn, why did I want to do this? Didn't I say that this was their wish? Come through spirit. It was this occultist wish. Nine of cups talks about a wish fulfillment. Somebody could have been blowing dust in somebody's face. Or something like that. What? Okay. It's over with. This is a wrap. Scorpio energy, nine of wands, they are done. They are weak. They are brittle. Oh, because they wanted to send you that. They sent you that illness. They sent that illness energy out. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. What a trick lady. Scorpio Sagittarius energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Ooh. Let's see. Capricorn energy. They're done. They're tired. They're laid out. Okay. Mm. Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the outcome. You're pure. You're pure here. Your intuition is on point. You always knew what was up. You were always the Queen of Cups upright. Always. Somebody's a jackass. It's like somebody shot themselves in the head with this. This is shocking news. It's like somebody shot themselves in the head when they were acting stupid with you. Somebody was being a jackass with you. This divine medicine could have literally stopped making sense altogether. Like it could have just sounded like psycho babble coming out of his mouth, divine feminine. This masculine is shocked about how the tables has turned. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Scorpio, the wheel of fortune. He's shocked about karma. Oof. That tower energy keep coming through. Somebody can't believe it's coming out this way. All this fixed energy grounded, grounded like crazy. Ain't nothing budging here. Five of Cups stuck in regret. Queen of Cups, you're the outcome. What's going on? Who? Look at that. Lovers. I told you, Divine Feminine, you're pure love. Gemini energy. Somebody didn't see it. Two of Swords. Two of Swords to the Ace of, Ace of Wands to the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. So you came in with passion, a solid connection, stability, loyalty. You had the, you came with, I don't know why I want to say the magic seeds to plant the tree to heaven. Like, I don't know where that line came from. Plant the tree to heaven. I don't know if you guys could Google that, if there's a meaning surrounding that. I've never said those words together a day in my life. Okay. There are lovers fighting and you are just sitting here pretty. Like they're fighting. Look at them. Here are you drinking your wine and here are lovers. This is a masculine and a karmic lover fighting. Fighting over you. Fighting over what was done. Fighting over the fact that he's a jackass because he didn't close this cycle all the way. And this karmic lover actually never closed this cycle with another lover. So there's that. Okay, Queen of Cups to the lovers. You're a soulmate, Divine Feminine. Let's see here. You have another soulmate coming through? What's going on? Queen of Cups to the lovers. What's going on? You're the outcome? Eight of Cups. Seven of Wands. They can't even get to you. This Queen of Wands is blocked. They can't even get to you. Seven of Wands. They got to give up. A karmic lover has to give up. Can't even get to you. They've been seen. Yeah, you've been seen what they were doing with the Empress. You, it, I mean, Divine Femme, you could have got tired of repeating yourself. Taurus, Libra, Energy, Page of Swords. You just probably could have figured out. You know what? I'll sit back. I'll sit back and watch. So they got blocked here. These people. Seven of Wands. Now somebody's fighting about you. Queen of Cups, you're the outcome. What's going on? Seven of Wands. Somebody wanted to fight you? A karmic lover. Seven of Wands and an institution. The Hierophant. Taurus energy. They're blocked. They're so blocked. Hierophant. A whole institution is blocked. Divine Feminine, you went against so many people. Do you know how many people you went up against? Damn. Oh my goodness. Okay. Let's finish out this reading. Okay, we don't need to extend it. Not for this. I'll give you guys a full reading and link that video in the um, description box. Because I want to close this out. Because these, these people are ridiculous. They're just done anyway. What else is going on here? How is this going to end? Yeah, they're losing blessings. We got blessing in reverse. They're losing blessings. They're done. Yeah. It's like they really thought they were gonna win here. It was only their imagination. <laughs> Come through spirit. Perseverance and imagination. It was only their imagination that they would win. That's why they wouldn't stop messing with you. These people would not stop messing with you. This whole group of people. Oh my goodness. They wouldn't stop messing with you. It was only in their imagination that they would defeat you and now they've been defeated. Yeah, this was a bad idea and now they have bad luck. Look at that. 
We got luck in reverse. We got an idea in reverse. These people are jacked up. Child, what else? Now they're lonely. Look at that. They're lonely and they hate themselves for what they did. This divine masculine could be lonely and hate himself for what he did with loneliness and self-love in reverse. Because he feels like shit. Mm -mm -mm. Come through. Yeah, he lost the gift. Yeah, this was so dumb. Like, th these people are so dumb and they're just getting it now. This strategy was to try to take something away from you, Divine Feminine. This was dumb. This Divine Masculine playing into these folks' games. He lost a gift. This And now it's like, look at this. These third wheels, these enemies. They made nothing but broken promises to this Divine Masculine. Somebody was greedy here. I cannot. What else? What else? Something's period. It was a trap. Whew. And something just slipped out. More slipped out. It was a trap. Now somebody's trapped in a nightmare? We got confinement. Nightmare. Yeah. It's like this masculine was in some kind of illusion. Like he didn't see a trap. He refused to learn a lesson from things that had already taken place. There could have been proof here in the past. Yeah. And he rejected the evidence. This man is thinking about when the proof was in his face, when something was called out in his face. And instead of standing up and fighting for you, fighting for this union, this man is thinking about this. It's like this was just so dumb. Mm. Now, he's, now he's like in some kind of paranoid state of depression because of the journey that he put himself in. Sir, give me two more. I'm gonna pull the Zodiac signs because I cannot. I cannot. This whole group is over with. They were in their ego. We got an ego and alliance. These people really thought they were going to defeat you. Somebody could have thought they were gonna take a home from you or mess up your um, stability here because they thought that they looked into your future. They were blind. And they really thought they could control you with a curse. Somebody thought they could control you with a curse. Karmic family members thought that they could bully you and make people withdraw from you. Could be your family members or this divine masculine's family members. Somebody could have even attacked your profession. This person wants to apologize. They're not okay. Whatever it is that they gained is nothing but stress. Point blank period. They gained nothing but stress. We have gained fury and stress. They gained literally nothing but stress. It's over with for them. We got death energy, again, Scorpio energy. For these people being deceptive with robbery, death, sweet dreams in reverse. When I tell you it's over for them, it's over for them. They have no, They could do nothing but stop. There are friendships falling apart here, period. With friendships in reverse. These people are done. They have no choice but to stop, okay? Let's see what zodiac signs are involved here. Premium members, make sure you look in the description box. I'm going to go ahead and, and record you guys another reading. Okay, because I had to finish this reading out. So your reading is there. So you could go straight to your reading, um, premium members. I feel like it's, man, I feel like there's like a whole other story somewhere. Because this masculine is a target of a catfish here. So we'll find that out. We'll see what's going on with that. We'll see what comes out in uh, the premium reading. Any um, information about that um, additional reading uh, will be in the description box. Premium members, as usual, you get free access to all of those. Non-premium members, you'll be able to click on the link and uh, check that out yourself. All right, so let's see. What zodiac signs are involved here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. April 19th could be significant. September 1st, September uh, third, the 31st could be significant here as well. 93 could be significant here. 31 could be significant here. 39 could be significant here. March 9th, March 6th. What zodiac signs are involved here? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Your sign, divine feminine. Could be this divine masculine sign. Could be one of the karmic signs. Let's see. What's going on? Let's see. What sign here? We got Jupiter energy coming out in reverse. Sagittarius, somebody lost all their abundance. March 2nd, again, the 23rd. I think I already called the 23rd earlier. Sure you did. Somebody, there is a lawsuit here. Somebody's being sued here. They're losing a lot of money. 
Because I called that 23rd earlier when I saw this court card, and now I got abundance in reverse this Jupiter energy with the 23rd. There's a lawsuit here. Somebody lost money in a um in a legal case, or somebody's gonna find out that their money was wasted or something in a legal case. Yeah, this person is debilitated. Virgo energy is here. The 14th could be significant, 41. April 1st, April Fool's Day could be significant here. Somebody got tricked and they feel stupid. Come through, somebody is not comfortable now. They're not living comfortable. Somebody's not living comfortable anymore. It's over with. They wanted you to live uncomfortable, not they're not living comfortable, okay? Come through. May 14th, February 14th, that was Valentine's Day, something, oh. And how that Taurus energy just jumped in my hand and this card talks about tension. There was a big fight on Valentine's Day. Come through, spirit. Okay. May 4th, April 5th could be significant. 45, 54 could be significant here. That could be a part of somebody's phone number. Damn. Somebody, uh, somebody was fighting all Valentine's Day. What? <laughs> oh my God. They're fighting on Valentine's Day in a living room about you. What is going on? We got Virgo, Taurus energy, Sagittarius energy. What else? It was tension. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Gemini energy cross -pollin pollinate in reverse. Big Gemini energy that coming in in reverse. Damn, they didn't even get the. Mm. Somebody didn't get hunched on Valentine's Day. Somebody slept out on Valentine's Day. What's going on? <laughs> Something is. Somebody got rejected on Valentine. What is going on, Spirit? What is this energy? What is this energy? The third could be significant here. Or this the third time it happened? Why am I getting that? Let's see, yeah, it's about love. I'm telling you, Divine Feminine, more Taurus energy. There's tension in love. This could be even this Divine Masculine's family. Like, it's like somebody's realizing that this some, a love was a, a love situation was a trick, or there are people here that just didn't care. Okay, let's see, what other signs here? The 21st could be significant. September 21st, June 21st, April 21st, 12. March 12th, September 12th, October 12th. October 3rd, October 21st. Okay, we got Capricorn energy showing up. All Earth is here. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn is here. Okay, this is grounded energy. Let's see, what else? Alliances. There's a break in a in alliances here. Yeah, we got Scorpio energy, Pluto energy, double on the Pluto energy. Check your um your Pluto placement. Okay, that might be significant here. Something is gone. An alliance is dead. They won't ever work together again. Cause that somebody don't want to ever be in this position again. They don't want to be in a do or die position. Come through, spirit. Okay. Yeah, this is this is this is like a setup. 72 could be significant, 27 could be significant here. Something was done on the 27th, June 27th, May 27th, November 27th, December 27th could be significant here. One more. Okay. Oh, something's a mystery. I think we have mystery come out already. Yeah, the hidden tendencies. Somebody had hidden tendencies. They were doing something else. They were doing something else. Okay. So we got Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, double on the Scorpio energy. 46, 64 could be significant here. There's a mystery about a death. A mystery about an ending is solved here, Divine Feminine, hidden tendencies. A mystery about how a union ending Ended is solved here because don't forget we're leading with this Virgo energy talking about analyzing. This is being solved. Somebody was able to properly analyze, properly review something here. It's no longer a mystery. One more. Mm, mm, mm. Come through spirit. What I just said, I just said something is being reviewed here. Look at that. What'd that say? Review. Didn't I say something is being reviewed here? Aries energy. Come through. It pissed 
pissed them off. What he reviewed in the past. This Divine Masculine, we got South Node Energy on the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be seeing 333 three, three here. What was being reviewed here, analyzed here, about this clown, this karmic clown being threatened, that what these, this group, this institution that's now overwhelmed because all this death energy is coming back to them, this illness energy, this endless energy, this attack on your creation, on your investments. They took a gamble when it came to your love life, this masculine being a target. Discovering that he been a target all along, an easy target at that. There could be twins involved here. Divine Feminine, you could have been in like an emperor energy. You had to get up and take control. This has all have been reviewed and now this masculine is pissed. Aries energy in reverse, he reviewed it. It's a wrap. Child, now you mad now, come through. Okay, you guys, y'all, we never know how these situations are going to end, y'all. All because it started off like this. Because they were threatened. All because they were threatened by you. This is the second clown I've seen. There's another clown that's out here. What that other clown? I know I saw another clown out here. I saw another clown. I just got dago. Look at the clown. This clown shot themselves in the head. That's why they going. That's why they going to their own funeral. They're over with. Jackass threat because they were threatened. They shot themselves in the head because they were desperate to do something here. Because they were threatened. Come through. Mm. Child, I'm trying to tell you, Dubai. Evelyn. Mm. They were threatened. Shot themselves in the head, being stupid. Okay, that is a your reading. Whew. Mm -mm. Okay, the um, additional reading will be in the description box. As I said, there is a link there for premium members and non-premium members. As usual, premium members, you get free access to all of my extended and premium and um, exclusive premium readings. So that will be linked for you in the description box and in the comment section below. Non-premium members, there's a link for you there as well. Look, y'all put y'all comments below because it's so y'all had to pick up on this. Because as soon as you came in, they was threatened and they were plotting. It's like somebody thought that you were going to take their spot. Divine Feminine, they couldn't take your energy. Let me know how this resonates with you. I want to know. Y'all know I read all my comments. So let me know what's going on, you guys. Okay? Please um, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up so YouTube knows you like my video. Be sure to share my video. That's how YouTube knows you love my content. That's how I know you love my content when you share my video, especially on your Facebook, on your LinkedIn, on your Instagram. Share whatever you can. I truly, truly appreciate it. Oh, don't go yet, you guys. Y'all know I've been debating like, okay, what am I gonna do with this other channel? I have figured it out. A lot of you guys don't know, okay, but my day ones know um, from when I um, was on TikTok, okay? I left TikTok because there were too many people impersonating me and it just it just got out of control. So if anybody ever reach out to you on TikTok um, and they're acting like they're me, that is not me because I don't reach out to anyone, not in that capacity to offer anything, okay, you guys? But... Um, my day ones from TikTok, they know that I used to do my all signs readings. That is what um, really like brought um, a lot of um, attention uh, to my platform, my all signs readings. So I am going to uh, use my other channel for all signs readings. My first all sign reading on that channel will premiere tomorrow afternoon. Okay, you guys, so it'll be all signs. Um, you guys, make sure you watch for your sun, moon, um, rising, and Venus, and seventh house placement signs. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of them. We're gonna go through what do you need to know about your love life, what's new coming to you for your love life, what's coming in when it comes to your finances, and what it is that Spirit wants you to know. Okay, you guys, I look forward to you guys 
um, coming through on my other Mermaid Prophetess channel, you guys. That will be premiering tomorrow at noon. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure your um, notifications are on. Make sure you tell somebody to tell somebody. The All Signs is back. I'm so excited to bring it back for you guys. Okay, and that will be on the other channel. Okay, so with that said, don't forget, comments below. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to the extra reading, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye!